Hello everybody, a lot of people ask me how to send a ticket to Crytek. Well, I will explain you today. First thing that you have to do is to enter to crytek.kayako.com. I will leave a link in the description to this website. Then you have to log into your account and click GFACE account. Then you need to pick your language. It can be English, German, Polish, Turkish or French. I'm talking English so I'll pick English and click next. Then you have a couple of topics to choose from. You have login credentials, ban appeal, change username or nickname, account stalling, account activation, account deletion, or something that is not listed on above. So I pick ban appeal because this is what most of the people need and click next. It is very important to say that you can only ban appeal once. That means that if you got banned and send them a ticket, then they answered you that your account will still stay banned and you will try to open another ticket, ticket will be automatically closed. So watch for those things and don't ban appeal more than once. Crytek also states in this page that all the cheat ban appeals are confirmed by the anti-cheat team of theirs. So there is no place for mistake here. Then you have two topics, ban appeal from the game and ban appeal from the forum. I will choose the ban appeal from the game and click next. Then you get to the page where you need to write your ticket. The most important thing is not to delete the subject and the description that is already written there automatically. After the automatically written description, you will have to go to your mail and see why you get banned. The reason is stated in the mail where GFACE told you that your account has been locked. After you saw what is the reason for the ban, you will have to write it in the ticket. It's also important to write why do you think that the reason is a mistake and your account shouldn't be banned. You can also add files to your ticket such as screenshots and videos. Then you need to tick that you really need customer support and that you agree to the terms of service of the customer support and you need to choose your server. Then you have to click submit and then your ticket will be sent. I really hope this video helped you and a like and share will be really appreciated because this video took me a long time to make. Thank you very much for watching this video and see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.